Fall forward, spring back. Fall forward, spring back. Focus question. What does Nola learn about daylight saving time? At eight years old, Lo Nola Estrada had already been late so many times. She, she figured she'd go on that way forever. She'd be late for her first job, her college graduation, her wedding. It didn't seem to matter much. And the groom liked her in a heat wake. The summer after Nola finished second grade, <coughs> her family moved from Arizona to Colorado. The move both new friends, a new school, and a new home. One thing did not change, though. Nola was still late for everything. The first Friday in November, Nola's teacher sent the class home with a reminder that daylight saving time ended to that weekend. Before you go to bed Saturday night, remember to adjust your clocks an hour, she said. Spring forward, fall back. And if you like parades, don't forget the fall festival on Sunday. Nola had never witnessed it in the forest. Her friends said the fall festival parade had you inspiring floats, animals live, music, and dancers on stilts. She already wanted to see it. That night at dinner, Nola asked her mom if they could go to the parade. Won't be here. I won't be here, mom reminded her, but I bet Pablo could take you. Pablo was Nola's big brother, 16 and always sleepy. He would be in church while their mom was away. Can you take me to the parade? Nola asked Pablo. There'll, there'll be floats. Root bear floats? Pablo asked. Nola laughed, and so did Mom. The parade's at 10 o'clock, Nola said. We have to change our clocks so we don't miss it. That's right, Mom said. You've never had to change your clocks before. Unlike most states, Arizona didn't observe daylight saving time, so Nola had never thought much about it. She thought about it now, though. I don't really get it, she confused. Are you actually saving daylight or just moving it around? Moving it around, Mom said. In November, people in states that observe daylight saving time sets their clocks back an hour. Though the sun rises earlier in the morning, or seems to, and sets earlier in the evening. The March, in March, they do just the opposite and the sun sets later. Wild stuff, Pablo yawned. Why save daylight? Many countries use a daylight saving problem during their warmer months when the days are longer. When water, in order to conserve energy, by moving the clock ahead an hour during these months, sunlight lasts longer into the evening. On Saturday morning, their mom kissed them both goodbye, got in her car, and drove it to the airport. That night as Nola got in bed, she thought back to her teacher's instructions. Spring forward, fall back. Or was it fall forward, spring back? Nola hesitated. Fall forward sounded better. So she'd had an alarm forward an hour. Just like that, she'd saved an hour of the day. Now it was past her day best time. Late again. Time, Nola said. It's not my friend. Nola overslept the next morning. When she awoke, uh, when she woke, her clock said 10.15. She rustled her brother out of bed, then ran over to Grand Avenue. When they reached it, though, no crowd greeted them. No floats or no marching bands. Why are they so late today? They missed the parade entirely. Entirely. Nala hung her bed in dismay, then turned around and headed home. But back on their street, they spotted something. It was their neighbor Frank, climbing around next to a gigantic, bright orange something. Could, could this be a float? They walked over to a closer inspection. It was a float, an eight-foot pumpkin set on a trailer. Frank turned and saw them standing there. He lit up like a jack o' lantern. The early bird gets the worm, he cried. Nola and Pablo looked at each other. Pablo had never been early for anything in his life either. Climb on up there, buddy, 
and give me a hand with this wrench. Shouted Frank to Pablo, you too, Kido, he called to Noah. They cr climbed up behind the oversized pumpkin and Frank put them to work. For more than an hour, Pablo hammered. Noah glued orange tissue paper in place. They arranged giant fake leaves and winds around a giant fake pumpkin. When they were done, the float looked fantastic. So, Pablo said at least, I guess you're all ready for next year's parade. Frank looked confused. Next year? He cried. Where do you think I'm going to keep this thing for a year? Put your seatbelts on. We've got a parade to get to. Just then, Noah and Pablo heard the first notes of a marching band. They blinked in confusion. Wait a minute, Noah said. Wasn't the parade at 10 o'clock today? Was at 10? Frank cried. Will be at 10 is more like it. He thrust his wrist to watch tower them. Pablo yawned. You'll watch the 9.30, he said. Noah laughed for joy. I fell forward, he said. I needed to fall back. Noah had sprung forward an hour when everybody else had fallen back an hour. That meant she and Pablo were now two years ahead of everybody else. For once in their lives, they were early. You woke me up two years early, Pablo cried. The early birds get a worm. Nala cried. Frank nodded. You got it now, kiddo, he said. Pablo yawned. It was all a big mistake. But it turned out to be a great mistake. It's why they rode on the parade of Frank's giant pumpkin float and why, why they've ridden with Frank every year since. That's also why. From that day to this, Nala Estrada had made sure to be early for everything. Two minutes early, so not two hours.